children. We appreciate the, the kids coming out. One little boy, oh, he must have been about five years old. He met me about the record rack back there. And he, when we first got here, he said, sing me a song. I said, I said, what do you want to hear? He said, dude, this old house. I said, I said, you got it. I started to walk away. He said, wait a minute. I went back. He said, do it the third song. I leaned, I leaned over and I said, how come you want me to do it the third song? He said, I may go to sleep. <laughs> I thought, we got one here on the stage that might go to sleep on. <laughs> we were in, a uh, few, few months ago, we were in uh, Hollywood, California, and uh, we had a concert there. Some people who had been to Stuart Hamlin's funeral came to our concert that night because they knew that in the old days when Stuart would come back from Hollywood, back in the, uh, Pennsylvania, New York, uh, Michigan, Ohio area, Glenn and I used to work with Stuart Hamlin in concerts all over that part of the country. Stuart Hamlin, one of the greatest songwriters to, to ever come along, wrote songs like, uh, It is no secret what God can do until then, and uh, how big is God? This one here, this old house. Stuart wrote this old house back in the 50s. And I've been singing it ever since he wrote it back in the 50s. My daddy used to take me to hear you singing. <laughs> bless, bless, bless his heart, his mind comes and goes. <laughs> Write that down, I'm gonna use it every night, I think. But uh, when I read a little article in USA Today that, that Stuart Hamlin had passed away uh, several months ago, you, you probably saw the same little article I did, named the songs he had written. Stuart was 80 years old. This old house had never been a song. Now, let me confess something to you that really blessed my heart. It was a, a rhythm thing, a fun thing to do, but it never had been a song that grabbed a hold of me and blessed me. That day the Lord directed my attention to the second verse of this old house when I was thinking about songs that Stuart Hammond had written. Let, let me share it with you, the second verse. It says, this old house is a-getting shaky, and this old house is a-getting old. This old house lets in the rain, and this old house lets in the cold. On my knees I'm a-getting chilly, but I feel no fear or pain. Cause I see an angel peeking through a broken window pane. And you know what? I got a brand new glimpse of what Stuart Hamill was writing about that day. If that angel that's peeking through the window pane calls for me tonight, I'm packed and I'm ready to go. God, excuse me just a moment. Well, glory! Tell you what, when you've got one of them in you, you better let it out or it'll hurt you. Little man, wherever you're at, here it is, this old house. This old house was to my children, this old house was to my wife. This old house was a home of comfort as we fought the thorns to lie. This old house was a rank with the laughter, this old house heard many shouts. Now she trembles in the darkness when the night went walks about. Ain't a good name, this house no longer ain't a good name. Oh my. 
when old Thunderbird hits that high note, I get dizzy, you know. One of the most powerful tenor singers to ever come along in our field. You talk about a, you talk about a set of lungs and wind. Sometimes I believe he's got one big lung and it goes all the way across his chest. You know? He can pump up and hold a note. He can hold a note longer than the First National Bank. <laughs> we we live in a town called Stowe, Ohio, right next to the Goodyear rubber plant. And Danny on Mondays and Tuesdays, he goes down and blows up the Goodyear blimp. <laughs> the other night, he tried to blow up our bus and burn his lips on the tailpipe. No, no. 